Good morning everyone. Welcome to SMA vlog. I'm Shaheed. Today in this video you are going to watch the most beautiful and scenic road of Canada that is called Icefield Parkway. We are going to start our journey from Lake Louis Inn which is in the Lake Louis village and from here we will head through Icefield Parkway towards Athabasca Falls and the surrounding area. So be with me, I have lots of things to share with you guys. If you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe this channel and if you have already subscribed this channel, welcome back. I have lots of things to share with you today in this video right now. So and let's start the video. Hello everyone, you are watching SMA Vlog, which stands for our name, Shahid, Moon and I am. Here, we showcase our travel experiences along with some daily life activities. Over the last couple of years, we have traveled several countries in different continents, which includes more than 30 states in the United States. This got us into thinking to document our travel experiences and share with you all. You can find our Iceland travel experience in this channel. This year, due to COVID-19 pandemic, we decided to explore our own back here. So we traveled to Alberta and British Columbia to explore some of the amazingly beautiful national parks of Canada, such as Banff and Jasper. And also we traveled to the city of Vancouver. Today, we are going to drive from Lake Louis to Jasper Town through Icefield Parkway. Icefield Parkway is one of the most scenic roads in the world, full of glaciers, waterfalls, mountain peaks, and canyons. We'll be visiting all the major attractions along this road, so please stay tuned. During the visit of Lake Louis, we stayed in the hotel called Lake Louis Inn. It's a nice hotel and pretty expensive as well. We paid $254 for one night. Uh, it was a nice hotel. There was no breakfast included in this stay, but parking was included. Uh, this hotel was uh, very comfortable and right now we are checking out from this hotel and starting our journey of day six. This hotel had all types of facilities like pool, gym and nice restaurants but we were so tired last night we haven't gone to any of those places we slept in the room and this morning we just came out and going to start our journey now. One tip I can give you if you want to book any hotel in this area just take your time and try to book in advance like at least two weeks before so that you can get a good price other than that if you book just day before you have to pay a premium price so make your plan and book in advance it will help you to save some money. Now in Alberta there are lots of tourists are coming of course most of them are uh, Canadian in most of the tourist places they recommend to wear the mask especially if you go to a big gathering or if you go inside of any hotel or any establishment you have to wear the mask so I always carry the mask with me and you know use it when it is required So guys, as you have seen, this road is so unique and you have to have the pass to go inside. We already purchased the pass, still we need to go through the checking, you know, so that uh, they want to make sure that we have the pass. We already have the pass over here. We paid $140 for this, so we can go to any national parks of Canada using this pass for one year.
This is the Bow Lake viewpoint. This is just beside the uh, Icefield Parkway as well. On the back, we can see these uh, glaciers and this is the Bow Lake. This lake is created by the glacier water. You can see the water color is a little bit different, full of minerals and it's surrounded by the amazing mountains. So the view is breathtaking. Unfortunately, you know, it's raining. That's the problem right now. Maybe uh, when we will go back from Jasper to uh, Banff again, then we can stop by again. But now it's raining, so the view is not that good. But still, it's amazing. We were heading towards north through Icefield Parkway and we found a spot, it's called uh, Crawfoot Glacier Point. So from here we can see the glaciers and beside that the lake we can see here. This is called Bow Lake. It's very nice and of course beautiful and amazing too. So let's take a look of this place. By the way, this is just beside the road and you can see this is the Icefield Parkway. Cars are moving there. This is another viewpoint of Bow Lake and Crawford Glacier. It's raining now, so the glaciers are kind of behind the clouds. This is the Peto Lake for construction that uh, entrance is closed now so nobody can go to the lake but you know what we are watching this lake from here and enjoying the beauty. This is an awesome place just beside Icefield Parkway, a kind of very nice and very shallow river is flowing here. It's so beautiful and we just make a sudden stop uh, to see this river. It's amazing. No words to describe this place. 
It's totally amazing. The name of this overlook is Big Band Overlook because you can see the big bands of the river, you know, and the mountains. This is just an amazing viewpoint uh, where we can see two big mountains along with the river and some waterfalls. This is just 30 kilometers before Columbia Ice Field. Look at the view behind me. There are two big mountains, the small road that we just came from, it's amazing and mind-blowing. When you stand here, you feel like you, are, you cannot stand, you will fall down, it's very dangerous here. Interestingly, this is another lookout point where you don't need to uh, walk or make a hike, just you can get off from your car and come here. So this is the highway, just beside the highway, this is the parking lot. Now we will enjoy this place. The speciality of this Icefield Parkway is that you don't need to have any map or anything or name of the places where you need to get off. You just follow the signs of the road. It will say you everything, all the details, the name of the places and you just need to take decision where you want to stop. I recommend everybody to come here and you know do this drive at least once in lifetime and you will definitely remember this drive it's so amazing and you cannot compare this drive with any of your drives in your life that you have done before i think we are done here we need to move on to go to columbia ice field so let's go Another attraction on Icefield Parkway is this falls. This is called Tangle Creek 
Falls. It's just beside the road. Again, you know, very interesting and you know, nice to see. This road, as I told you, is full of some attractions. Everywhere you go, you'll find something. This place is not that far, only five kilometers from the Columbia Icefield Discovery Center. So from there, if you start heading towards uh, Jasper, this place will come on your right side. So it's a nice falls. Let's enjoy the view. That false water is coming here, coming down and flowing as a small river from here. This is a nice place. They have a nice place to park your car and enjoy the falls over there. So let's go now to our next destination. So thanks guys for watching this video. Finally we have arrived at our final destination at Jasper. It's a small town. Now we checked in into the hotel. I'm just sharing some photos with you. Just take a look. This is our hotel. I will try to describe this hotel later on in the next videos. Thanks for watching these videos guys. Uh, I tried my best to share all our experiences today throughout our journey at Icefield Parkway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please click the subscribe button and also click the small bell icon so that it will notify you when I upload my next video. And stay tuned because lots of new videos are coming. I hope you guys will enjoy those videos. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.